you have a legit stalker. Do you have yes. a restraining order? A stalking order. The realtor calls our mom and is like, Destiny has some sort of secret admirer. There's like a lot of packages at your old house. Things start escalating, starts coming to my work, being aggressive. Did you know your sister was always gonna marry or date a black guy? I think you were leaning towards. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the For Us podcast, the podcast for you. And for us. How you feeling? How you living? You looking good. I'm super excited about today's episode. Like the energy is... Is up here Me today. too. I kind of have the silly giggles. The silly giggles is because of someone who's here with us. Yeah, but also because I'm tired. Really? Well, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Just, just a tiny just bit. Just your average tiredness. I think you have stuff in between your teeth. That's good. Let me see. No, you're good. What did you... What'd you? I saw like something a little bit, but it's no, good. No, it's crazy. I feel it right now. So the fact that you... I know, but it's white. So like no one... So like, here's the thing. When like, you know, you're supposed to look out for your husband. Yeah, but I can't see it. You can't see it on camera. But, like, I feel it, though. It doesn't matter. Well, do you need me to get you a toothpick? The whole principle is is the fact that you saw it and then you said, oh, it's fine. Yeah, because it's not it's not bad. No one's going to see it. it's still on my teeth. You said it wasn't there anymore. No, I didn't. <laughs> did she say Let it was see. there anymore? Did she say it was there? She said it wasn't there anymore. She I said, did? You said it wasn't there anymore. <laughs> well, I can't see it. Okay, it's gone now. <laughs> Anyways, we have, we got some Kim Folk in the building. Do you know what Kim Folk means? I've heard, isn't Justin Timberlake have a song named that? Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got some family in the building. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, we have the one, the only, Destiny. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh I thought you were going to say the last name, so I, I was really waiting for it. it. <laughs> I thought um, about it. We are, um, this is Savannah's sister. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I have no clue what this episode is going to be, <laughs> but this is us when we get around each other. We are just going to be super silly and tell some crazy stories, and I'm super excited. But before we started, Destiny did say, what if I just, like, don't talk? And we literally just had that moment. And also, I left you completely hanging dry after we just introduced. I'm already the only black guy in this room right now. Stop. You, like well, you know what? Let's talk about your cast. Oh. Let's, I think that will help like ease the... This is not a cast, bro. What happened? Might as well be. <laughs> I cut myself with a knife that you just bought. You boys fresh. And uh, this is the only band-aid I could find. That's two band-aids. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole apparatus. <laughs> well, it's doing the job. So Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, how bad was the cut? It was bad. I was bleeding. Like, bleeding. Well, I came downstairs. You know what I don't like? Whenever you get hurt, you like just do it in silence. Yeah, because you over here, if I tell you, you're going <gasps> to, oh my gosh, babe, we got to go to ER. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure you're okay. I know, baby. But, but I just I'm, came downstairs okay. and you're like literally bleeding out. Bleeding out is wild. <laughs> Dramatic. <laughs> bleeding out is crazy. Um. Anyways, all right. So how'd you guys meet? You two. Well, I was two. <gasps> Dude, do you remember? No, that's not possible, right? No. That's crazy. What age do people remember? Like, what's the age you can go back to remember? I feel like I feel like I don't even remember stuff when I was like five. Like, I feel Dude, like... Same. I feel like I don't remember anything from my childhood, if I'm being honest. Like, not anything. Like, I do and I don't at the same time. Do you feel like yeah. that? I feel like elementary school, I have like faint memories. Yeah. Mm. Anything before that? Yeah, no way. You think you're literally a culprit of this this point yeah and like me being Dude. a culprit is like very aggressive and i don't know what you're talking well, about babe, because i've heard you say before that you remember something from when you were like two what when and what did i because i don't recall what you're i don't about. remember and but who was i talking to me oh i said i remember something i was two yes dude some people probably do though is that possible i, I don't know but just because your sister backed it up doesn't make it i said it <laughs> oh. if i said it Anyways, um, yeah, maybe I did. I think I do remember something when I was like two. What? Which? What do you remember? My dad went skydiving, and you were two. I don't know. I feel like I was a toddler, and I remember. I just remember like being under the plane. Hmm. There's also a video, so maybe I'm just like remembering the video. That's what I think a lot of the times because I feel like sometimes I think I remember a childhood moment, and I'm like, okay, no, maybe I just saw a picture of that or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's properly introduce our guest. Here's the thing. She's not like an actual guest. She's just vibing with us on the podcast. I think yeah. that's what she wants us to go by. Yes, please. Because if yes, we please. just that's what I like. interview her, <laughs> then I don't know what. But, okay, so Destiny, how old are you? 
29. Can I ask you that? Yeah, of well, course. Well, I can ask you that, but you know, like, <laughs> they, you can't, a, a gentleman, a guy is not supposed to ask a woman how old they are. I f- oh. Oh. Yeah, at what age does that become, like, not, not chill anymore? You should ask. Well, I feel like a random person, a random dude shouldn't ask you how old you are, though. Really? Right? No. Well, you guys aren't 17. Know. You don't look 17. I feel like it's still socially acceptable for, like, the age we're at to ask that question. Like, we think about it. Like, when we meet people, we ask them how old they are. Yeah, but nine times out of ten, they're younger than us. I know, but it doesn't. Like, they ask us how old we are, too. You know what I mean? I guess. But I just feel like if I see, like, two young ladies, like, you know, and you guys look, like, put together and, like, you're not just, like, a little wimpy kid, (laughs) they shouldn't be (laughs) like, yo, how old are you? I don't know. Really? I mean, yeah. Maybe that's just me. Maybe not the first thing out. Yeah, the first thing out is wild. <laughs> yeah, I'll do. Okay. Else. That's what I started off with. Um, okay, Des, give us a little bit about yourself. I'm joking. I know that was like a wor- that was probably my worst question I've ever asked. Babe, you I thought you, you were joking. That was going to be horrible. No, for I was me. being dead serious. Wow, Destiny. Okay, so here's the thing: we want to hire <laughs> Destiny as a part of our team. We would love to. We want I Des to quit her job. Yes, and we want to hire her to be our. Everything. Everything. Literally <laughs> to everything. be our everything. Literally to be a part of Josh and Zat. But we can't do that right now. So what do you do right now that is that you are very successful with? I work at Bank of America. Nice. Shout and out. I like Bank of America. They send me some money. They send me some and money. And I think last time I was on your guys' TikTok, remember that whole spiel of a title that I spieled out? Yeah. Relationship manager, business owner specialist. What it is? No. What so is they it? changed it now to just senior banker. <gasps> you're a much senior easier. banker i know dude it makes me sound old yeah wow. when i actually got back from that vacation my manager came to me and she's like your title's changing to senior banker do you Why? like that better than what was it before for the people who didn't know relationship manager business owner specialist that, okay that's it's like so long whoa that that's a lot that's of like, words uh, Giannis onto the kumpo yeah onto kumu vanaya <laughs> <laughs> is that someone's name yeah how do you say it I don't, do you, know oh, you don't, you know <laughs> I don't know who that is. Oh, you don't even know who that is. Dude, you don't know who Giannis is? Oh, the basketball player? Yes. Wait, yeah. I don't think we shared. This is Savannah's sister. Did I say that already? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh, this and is then I went sister. silent. All oh, okay. Yeah, we went silent. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure. Also, I feel like people know that because they think we look like. Y'all do look alike. Y'all look like doggone twins. I honestly feel like I don't really see it, but a lot of people like will comment on our voices and say that we sound the same. And that sometimes I'll hear like a video yeah. of you. Or hear you talking, and I'm like, wait, that actually does sound like me. Yeah, audio yeah. listeners, you guys listening right now, you probably who's don't who? know who's who. Who's who? Uh, oh. Yeah, that's cool. That would be crazy. Anyways, so you're a senior banker now. That's yeah. pretty cool. I guess. Do you like your job? I mean, yeah. I yeah. like what I do because I'm good at it, but yeah. it's not Come something. I'm good at it. It's not, it's not something I want to do forever. How what do, do you, you want to do forever? Yeah. Not that. Besides <laughs> be a part of our team. Yeah, I want to hang out, have fun. Mm-hmm. I would love to do what you guys do. Yeah. Or just help you do it. Yes. No, dude, but no, you but can. you can do what you do while being a part of our team. It's like, yeah, are we trying that, to pitch That's right the now? dream. That's the dream? I would love that. I think we need to, like, make this happen. That would be so cool. But I but will say, like, seeing what you guys do behind the scenes. It's a lot. It's a lot of work. Really? Yeah. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is. I was just saying, you you were really. saying like really as in like you didn't think that Des would see it as a lot of yeah. work but yeah I mean not saying that I don't want to work but it's a lot of work yeah but also backtracking to hiring Des yeah. I yes and no yeah no you don't want to like, do it I actually it. don't I think I say that because like that would be really cool obviously but also at the same time like I don't want that but I think it's the dynamic that we would have to create. We don't want mm-hmm. to make it seem like it's destiny is working for us because she literally wouldn't be working for us. I know, but, but like would. even we just took Des on. I just touched my lip gloss this nice. and it's sticky. Nice. Hairy. <laughs> fuzzy um, lips. Yeah, fuzzy lips. <laughs> um, we just took Des on our trip and like I was feeling like when we had to like leave to go do work stuff and like we left you with both the girls, like obviously that's what you came for to help us. But I had moments where I like felt not bad, but like, you know what I'm saying? But if like we had hired, we obviously like weren't paying you either. Like, but if we had hired someone to come on the trip with us, like a nanny and we're paying them, like, I won't think I would have felt like, oh my gosh, like, are you gonna be okay? Like, or I feel bad leaving you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But I also think after time, like if this did end up happening in the future, that feeling would expire for you. That's true. You know? And I guess it would be totally different. Like if we were paying you, it would be completely different. Cause sure. 
Well, and you know I love it. Yeah, that's true. So that's I was kept true. trying to reassure you guys, like, don't feel bad. This is literally what I came for. And yeah. I love it. I'm having a blast. I know. Yeah. We're right now we're in the phase of learning to receive help. Yeah. Right now yeah. because we are not used to it. Yeah, we're not used to it. You know, we're around family, like all the I think we see family every single day since we've moved here. It's pretty cool. Is there not uh, maybe yesterday? Oh no, we saw your mom yesterday. I think, yeah, we've seen that's some awesome. sort of family and we're like not used to that we're not used to like i had a basketball game on sunday and um right i don't think you held the girls at any moment yeah they were like well yeah well, i think sometimes yeah but they were like running around just it was so cool such a cool feeling to know that like our kids were safe and like there are so many eyes on them because yeah. we just literally have never experienced that how no. do you feel about us moving here i mean I'm i know it's so like excited. Uh, duh, but like what was the initial did you ever think we would live here truthfully honestly no yeah like it got to a point in michigan and you guys were talking about like you didn't want to be there anymore but i thought for sure you guys were going to either go back to texas or end up in hawaii oh why wow not even la no no i don't think you guys would end up back in no, la I, she knows yeah, oh, maybe yeah, somewhere knows, in california was okay. one of my thoughts okay. too but i don't know it's like literally life-changing i know it's like crazy. it still doesn't feel real Does like it make you feeling like a an aunt do you call it aunt or aunt Ant. Yeah, ant. Like the you, bug. Have you ever said auntie? Ant like a bug. Auntie? No. Auntie? <laughs> auntie? <laughs> well, yes, un auntie. Well, how do you say red? Red. Re I say red. <laughs> red. Red. That's not what we're talking about. Auntie. <laughs> it's uh, ant. Auntie. My auntie. My auntie. Monica. That's definitely a like white person thing. Ant. No, like, my dad like says ant though. Oh, really? Oh. Yes, he does sometimes. Oh. He does sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but he, we definitely say aunt. Okay, so no you one say, says auntie. You say auntie. Anyway. Auntie. U-N-T-I. Hey, auntie. Aunt. <laughs> hey, that's my aunt. Does it aunt. feel, does it make you feel like a real auntie <laughs> now that you see your nieces almost every other day or so? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I felt like a real auntie before. I know. Does it make you feel like, like. More exciting for sure. Right. Like, I'm just so excited. Like, I can just come over here and bring the girls treats or a gift yeah you're a good aunt i'll tell you that much yeah you okay. really are i appreciate that that's crazy it's i like can't, my favorite thing ever yeah i can't even imagine being an aunt or an uncle yeah <laughs> dude Can it's you, so cool yeah that is pretty cool why is it cool i mean it's just cool you get to do all the fun stuff that's true you get then, all the good parts yeah and then you don't have to deal with like that's the real. sleepless nights you don't have to deal with any of that which of course i would for you guys in a second i would take the girls overnight i'd take the girls for a week a month yeah. if you need me to right but like you're not obligated right, right. you just get the fun parts that you is to choose. pretty cool did you guys know that bluey w was a girl <laughs> yeah that's crazy. yeah found this out today <laughs> yeah we're pretty bluey. much if you're not familiar <laughs> with bluey bluey is a show that our daughters <laughs> well just one daughter loves to watch Bluey is a Bluey is like a very kind soul. I feel kind of betrayed. I definitely I'm not over it. Yeah. Today or Savannah, we bought um, Raya a new book, and it's it's it's, it's all about Bluey. It's all the about name. Bluey. And the first sentence literally says she something about Bluey and she or her. Blue, Bluey. It said she bounded out of bed. I said who? I think they made a typo. It's literally yeah. Bluey's a girl. I went to my Instagram today and said that and everyone was either flabbergasted or they just found out recently. Like this is like happening real time that everyone's finding out that Bluey is a girl. But then there's some people who are like, how does it not now? No, that is crazy. And then I was reading the book with Rye in the closet. What else? First thing out of my mouth, I was like, Bluey's a girl. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, yeah, dude, we just found out today too. <laughs> okay. Blue's clues. Yeah. Blue just, is a girl. Just I feel that. like it says like on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like it's, they're trying to go against, like, blue is associated with boys, and everyone thinks that blue is for boys, so they purposely made both of the blue characters, which, by the way, is Bluey, like, Loki stealing Blue's Clues? That's, like, very close. No, I think, I he I've heard true. that Bluey is, like, the modern-day Blue's Clues. Oh. Yeah. It's, but it's like, same. a completely it's different story. It's not the same at all, but yeah. they are dogs, though. Where have you heard that? They are dogs, though. It doesn't matter where I heard it, it's just, like, that's what I heard. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's right. Well, I'm just saying, it's... <laughs> It's, it's up for interpretation. It's okay. It's uh, object subjective. Mm. Yeah. Why are you holding the mic like that? <laughs> That's crazy. So intense. It's so aggressive. <laughs> um, but yeah. So how was you guys' relationship growing up? Because I never had sisters growing up. 
I had one older sister, but like she was like way older and I never, she didn't live in the house with us. And I don't know what that dynamic is like to have a girl my age in that same age range like that. I was going to say, I feel like you actually can relate more so though, because you grew up with just your brother and you guys are close in age, just like we are. So like, I feel like your dynamic with Rem is like probably super similar to like what our dynamic was. We were like, not we really weren't like best friends honestly until no in high school we became really close are you guys but best yes. friends right now yeah for sure i love that thanks no problem it's like what <laughs> thanks <Yeah. laughs> you, but you feel like best for like you guys when did it shift that you guys felt like comfortable i kind of feel like high school right dude yes but then even which is so weird like another shift was when you were gone definitely we got way like closer how? Got closer oh through distance yeah. yeah for sure yeah that is true. super close no but i remember high school we obviously we fought so much the main the number one thing <laughs> we always fought about was each other's clothes it's so crazy and That's i wild. know that other sisters can relate to this because one day i steal destiny's clothes we show up we go to the same school we don't see each other in the morning i don't know i show up i'm in i was probably we, sleeping through my alarm yeah like we <laughs> literally see each other like she'll see me in her clothes i'll see her in hers or her in mine and like we get so flaming mad but like we both do it so it's yeah. like why didn't we just come to a mutual agreement yeah. and be like why don't Let's we just, just share, share clothes like what and also why were we so mad we didn't Who even cares? buy the clothes i know it's crazy Mom like the clothes. especially now having our own girls and I just think about that. And I'm like, if you guys don't get in your room and just share all the clothes, yeah, it's wow. better. You have a double wardrobe. Like, why wouldn't you just embrace that? I feel like, yeah. can we avoid that? I feel like you two can take a, take a, take a kid. You take a star. <laughs> I mean, right. You take Starly and, and like, tell we them. can avoid what y'all went through. Cause I feel, I, yeah. like, I feel like it is a common thing, but like, what if like we just nip it in the butt right now? Yeah. Maybe we could right now. <laughs> we start training. right now. <laughs> Starly. Yeah. But no, I, I just, that is like my biggest like memory of our common denominator of our fights. Like definitely. Oh. And it was always just like us screaming at each other and then we would be fine. Do you ever remember like saying sorry to each other? Not Cause really. I they don't. just kind of fizzled out. And yeah. All and of then you, we'd be hanging out. Did yeah. You, you just hug, get on work. Did you guys hug as siblings? Not really. When do so. like when is it not weird to hug your sibling? I don't think uh, it's ever weird. weird. No, but you know, like I asked you this like the other day. Um, there's certain friends I've heard because I'm a hugger. I like to hug. Some people yeah. just Dudes, think girls, hugs are weird. Yeah, like some people might just not feel comfortable with hugging, and like there's some friends that don't do it. But I think there's some siblings too. They say that they don't hug their sibling. Really? When did you guys start? Yeah, like it's. Yeah, yeah, like, I can see that. Oh, well, we always, hug. I mean, like, I don't think there was ever a moment where you're like, yeah, let's hug. I just don't like have any vivid memories of us as like kids hugging, but I'm sure we did. Yeah. When was the last time you guys hugged? We recently probably whenever, I guess I didn't hug you today when you come over because Ryan when traps I left. you. Probably when I left LA. Oh yeah. Okay. Big hug, big quick hug. Cause I was in a big, big rush. Hug. Yeah. Big rush. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, yeah, I was just curious about the hugs. I don't know but, why I was curious about a hug. But yeah, I feel like we were also best friends in high school too. We yeah, got really we close. Got close. We had like a lot of the same friends, even though we were obviously two years apart. Yeah. But I remember, was that my freshman year, your junior year when we had, uh, we had, what did we have? Sculpt, what class Dude, was yeah, it? Yeah, sculpture. Yes. And it was so fun. What yes. was y'all making in there? I don't, I don't even remember what Dude, I, I don't think we ever really went to class. Yeah, okay, we did I skip mean, that class a lot. I have a question because you were, were you 4.0 <laughs> too? No. I was, my weighted GPA was a 4.0, I have to preface. I just, what does that I, mean? I just, yeah, what does that mean? The weighted GPA is like, so from your AP and honors classes, it like weights, it like brings your GPA oh, higher up. weight on those. But my actual GPA was like a little below 4.0. My question is just how, how did you like pass everything? Because, because like, I, I have a lot of, you told me a lot of stories on how you like. Like skip class and stuff? Skip class, got in trouble. Because <laughs> I did all my homework. I was like really, like I she that, was. Yeah. Like, really? you, I was not like that. We're like opposite. Same. I feel like that. Yeah. You still did good in school. Yeah. I for, I don't remember what my GPA was, honestly. Really? I did terrible in school. I passed. Really? What was your GPA? It doesn't matter. Really? Yeah. Did you get, like, get Fs? No. I, I If I got a, <laughs> if I got an F, it was because I didn't turn something in. So you did get Fs? Like, not like a, oh, a, not not your overall, my overall grade. Okay. If I got an F, but I did, I did fail math <laughs> one year. Wow. So you did. Oh, I guess I did get an F. Wait, also, by the way, I just want to say, oh I'm gosh. sorry if I offend anyone. Poor, it wasn't, I wasn't, <laughs> I'm here now, I graduated. I'm sorry if I offend anyone, but I never understood the people that 
showed up to class and were just like, oh, I didn't do my assignment. Okay, well, let me defend those. Okay, people. okay, yes, let's same. Please. Did you 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 agree with her? No, you. <laughs> well, you agree I with was me? that person. So was I. I what think were it's you? Older sibling thing. But like, I remember. I think it just depends on the personality, like the the person you are, because I could not show up and not have my assignment done. Really? Oh. Yeah, I did it a lot. Oh, I was a person that showed up without it done and be like, hey, can you help me find some of these answers? Yeah, and then they would just off. hand it to me because they didn't want to deal with me. I was the guy I who knew, knew good and well I didn't do it. And then when they asked for it, I'm over here looking for it like, ah, where is it? I Stop. probably you did, not, I did it you did not do plenty that. of times. Dude, that's even worse. Yeah, it's terrible. I'm like literally <laughs> genuinely... So what do you think they're going to do? Say, oh, it's okay. You lost it. Yes. That's what you always want to think. They're going to think like you want them to say, oh, it's fine, Josh. Like just turn it in tomorrow. And I still (laughs) don't turn it in tomorrow. The next day. That's not good. It's crazy. So why we didn't bring our stuff? um, I don't know. We had other things to worry about. Okay. Look at me now. No, yeah, you're It's getting paper. No, I give him paper. Stop. <laughs> I just, um, I just always thought that was interesting because I remember being like, I have to bring my assignment to class. Yeah. How do we get there? I have no. Oh, because we were talking about high school and how. Um, oh yeah. How our relationship, relationship. was. Um. Okay. Well. Okay. I, I need to. What was the the relationship vibe? Did you Did you know your sister was always gonna uh, marry or date a black guy? I've asked her your mom this. What did my mom say? I forgot, but I'm ready. You're closer to your sister. I feel like you were leaning towards, but I don't know. Leaning towards. Leaning towards. No, you can be real. Just, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. You didn't really have any boyfriends is a thing, so it's... See? Oh, my God. That's true. There we go. That's the truth. There's a perfect person to back me up right here. I never had, like, an (laughs) official boyfriend. For real. Like, like Des was the one that had, like, the serious relationships and stuff. Like, I never had that. I had like boys. She I went, went to, to dance, a dance with. with a black guy, but that wasn't her boyfriend. See, <laughs> stop it right now. I don't care where he at. But oh. no, I guess I didn't really think one way or the other, as really? far as black or white or Asian or whatever. Because you know me, she's my first white girl ever. Yeah, actually, I did. I feel like I learned that recently, not that long ago. Yeah, I think maybe yeah, on their podcast. We haven't really shared mm-hmm. it. But we have, if you watch. But yeah, I, I've recently said it, and I don't know what it was. I th- well, I do know. I thought y'all was crusty. Yeah, I've heard that Isn't too. That so interesting. It like, is what does that mean? Yeah. Well, I don't. Um, it just because I feel like. Let me elaborate because I don't think I elaborated <laughs> when I first said it. Okay, I, yeah, like, let's elaborate. I just thought you guys were like dry. That's like dry? your skin was dry, dry <laughs> and. I got in trouble last time I said this. I really don't care. But this yeah. was my thought. I just thought, like, your skin was dry. <laughs> lips was dry. I just thought, like, everything was just, like, dry. That's crazy. It's actually so wild. You thought we didn't use lotion or chapstick? Honestly, yes. I didn't think white people <laughs> use lotion. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are laughing. I am dead serious, and I know I'm not alone. Stop. I have so many bug bites. I think bites. you might be alone. No, I'm not As alone. As she's itching her skin over <laughs> there, like... <laughs> Oh, you just kicked me, bro. Oh, sorry, baby. Um, can my feet be like this? You can do whatever you want. Look at those little tootsie toes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think y'all put on lotion. I didn't think. That's crazy. I don't know. And honestly, in my defense, because I went to all white school, like all the white dudes, like they was walking in, you know. You went to an all white school? For the most part, yeah. Oh. Well, you thought so how did you, you find black girls? How'd you, I mean, they were there. Oh, okay. But all but white. This is like, few. You was, say majority white. It was majority white. But this was only in elementary school, right? It was, no. I mean, Your high I, school? Grew, I went to school in the summer. Just the area. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, gotcha. definitely majority white than, um, than black. But right. why, why was I saying that? Oh, why, oh, you said all the all the guys, white guys. Oh, yeah, all the white dudes, especially, yeah, during the winter months, Michigan is like very cold. They was always wearing shorts and flip flops and just. What does like, that have to do with being crusty? What? That is crusty. Crusty <laughs> isn't the right word. No. That's just reckless. And crusty, like well, there's look, no. Way I know. Destiny is the queen of a flip flop in any climate. Exactly. Yeah, okay, <laughs> but, babe, but, but, but babe, that's not crusty. No, I'm just saying that's like, just reckless. Did your toes feel dry after? <laughs> not dry. dry. <laughs> you gotta be cold. Like for they're me, cold. If I go outside, cold. Yeah, in the freezing and with some shorts and some flip flops, ash and crust is happening quickly. Well, no. No, not for me. See, that's what I'm saying. I know about y'all for real. Y'all. But I, I don't know. I, that that was just my whole thing. And then I think 
white girls didn't like me either. So really? that could be like a whole nother thing. So that's why you didn't like them. No, they just weren't attractive. But you said. So, they did. Yeah. Come on, so, so when you touch Savannah's skin for the first time, were you were like, Soft. dang, they're not crusty. Honestly. <laughs> no. Well, actually, no, it's when I think when we kissed or actually I just honestly, it was I, when 2017 <laughs> at that point. I knew y'all wasn't crusty. At that point, you had grown oh, okay. up. Okay. Yeah, I've grown up. At, what'd you say? At that point, you'd grown up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, no, I honestly, truthfully, look, I grew up and I've, I. Grew up. And I know, and I thought that you guys were attractive and stuff. Okay. Because I didn't think that white girls were even attractive. Right. Wow. That's yeah. very interesting. I know. And yeah. like, uh, And yeah. it's crazy but how it just changed. It just shifted. Right. And I think everyone's attractive now. Yeah. Everyone. Everyone. No, as in like <laughs> we're the same, dude. Big gang up. I'm just saying because like, well, for you guys, have you always been attracted to all types of dudes? Don't you have a type? Everyone has a type. Definitely, no. yeah. Wait, no? really? You I'll, don't have a type? No, I have a type. You have a type? I wouldn't say I have a type, but I mean, I don't think everyone's attractive. Well, Sorry. yeah, no, me either. Yeah, no. But I. Well, okay, it's so weird. I literally can't even say that I don't have a type because all I can think about with my type is you. I know yeah, that's definitely. cheesy, but I'm yeah. just saying like. I'm trying to like put myself back in like even just like high school. I feel like I didn't have a type, but that was just high school, I guess. I never yeah, I like know. dated as an adult, really. So I know our dating saying? scene was each other. Yeah, so I feel like I don't really know, but that's so interesting to think about. Speaking of dating, there's some guys right now watching. I get the DMs. Vanna gets the DMs. Um, <laughs> get the comments. They all want to know is Destiny off the freaking market. You know I am. I, I know. What I, well, I don't know him yet. Well, oh, I just told him it's okay. You sorry. Know, and <laughs> I, I, um, I ignore them mainly because they all crusty. Okay. No good. crusty dudes. Sorry. Yeah. No yeah. crusty dudes near me, please. Near me, please. And I'm here to announce that she doesn't have a crusty. Dude. She has a boyfriend. She's off the market. <laughs> off I the am market. off the market. You are. She's off the market. And um, <laughs> how'd you guys meet? We met at a 4th of July party, not this last 4th of July, but the year before. Do you guys actually even know this? No. I okay. Know. I think I do. So, yeah, 4th of July party, and it was <laughs> no, so... No, I remember 4th of July. Okay. I'm yeah. Listening. So, so random, because I went with my coworkers at the time nice. to these people's house. Don't know them at all. So, I knew no one at the party except for my coworkers. And then, I forgot how Drew said he ended up there. Drew's but, the boyfriend. Yes, Drew's the boyfriend. Um, but as I was leaving the party, I saw Drew and he drives this huge Jeep. So I just thought he was cute. Saw the Jeep, thought it was a good way in. So I went up to him. I was like, I like your Jeep. That's good. And then at that moment we exchanged Instagrams and. It, IGs. Yeah. Not the phone Same number. Same as us. Not the phone number. <gasps> yeah. We exchange Instagrams. I just wait. followed you on IG. Oh yeah. But wait, wow. Why Instagram? Yeah, who said, let me get the IG. <laughs> so the night's a little bit blurry. <laughs> <laughs> If I'm being honest. Yeah, Dust no, doesn't fine. know. Does Drew remember? What? I said, yeah, Dust doesn't know. Drew does remember. I think he, I think he asked me, but I can't remember what he told me after Instagrams the fact. Instagrams are crazy. Like, the phone's right there. Like, just like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but, no, like, cool. it's pretty blurry for me. So, <laughs> yeah. the next morning, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I get the DM from him. Nice. And he has no pictures of, like, what he looks like on his Instagram, right? It's just a Jeep. It's a Jeep page. You forgot what so it like. I'm like, who in the world is right. this? You right. know? So I ignore it. And Definitely. then I get another one and it's a more specific message. So I'm like, okay. Oh, I remember this guy. I had no. Oh, no, still don't remember this guy. <laughs> You're like, but I must <laughs> know him. <laughs> but I'm like, gotta see his face. Yeah. So I'll ask him, hey, can you send me a picture of your face? So he sends me a picture of his face. Wait, wait. Still you Still not really remembering. You said... Can you send me a picture of your face? I'm Please. having a hard time remembering. You, that's what you said. <laughs> yes. You know, like we're asking because like the dating scene is blurry for us. Is that like yeah. proper to ask in like the dating mm, scene? Probably not. But like, really, I, I didn't have that. another choice. Me too. No, Savannah's she, her first thing <laughs> she did was Facetime when we first exchanged numbers. So yeah, you guys yeah. Are the same. I mean, yeah, I like that. It's like, why would you try to like beat around the bush and like you literally say like you don't remember? Like, I need to see what your face looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, he sent it, and then we hung out like a month after that, and been hanging out ever since. Wow, oh, you guys but, love each other. Yeah. Who said they love you first? Or who said? They I think Drew. Nice, good guy. Good, good guy. guy. And then I think it took me like a month to say wow. it back. Wow. You know what's crazy? I'm going to share this story. <laughs> no, that is crazy. I I asked a girl out, 
And I told her that I loved her. This <laughs> was in high school. Wait, you asked her out and told her you loved her right then and there? I don't know if it was right then and there. Okay. But she didn't say nothing back. That's crazy. It yeah. was in person, too. And I said, excuse me? So what'd you do? <laughs> I was, like, hurt. And yeah. it was on a Sunday at church. Oh. I know. You don't care that much. No, baby, I yeah, do. I'm sad. No, I am sad oh. like about the Wait, F. Yeah, I am sad. I think about you. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> what? Don't be sad about my F. <laughs> <laughs> baby, I think about you as, like, a, a, a little boy sometimes. I wasn't that little. Well, even, yeah, high what school, high school, you're a little boy. Okay. And I just, like, you're cute. Dude, I totally understand that feeling. Yes, thank like you. Like, 100%. Like, I feel bad and sad for Drew, and he hates it. Yeah. That I feel bad and sad for him, but I'm like, I just love you, and, like, you're so cute. You guys are the same, so because sad. I can't trip. I can't do anything <laughs> oh my gosh. embarrassing without Savannah thinking. <laughs> I, like, will cry. Oh, my God. Well, Destiny <laughs> fell up the stairs when when she came to Michigan the last time to visit us. She was holding Starly, and everything was fine, but she f- tripped. And I literally my started, elbows. I started crying. <laughs> yeah, I set my elbows. <laughs> yeah, she was holding Starly, and she slammed her elbows because she couldn't drop Starly. But anyways, oh. I started crying. Like, that's just how I am. If someone gets hurt that I love, like, I'm going to cry. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I anyways, the oh, chick... Yeah. Um, I like spilt my heart and you guys are laughing. It's crazy. No, sorry. I didn't. Yeah. No, I was going to say this and I don't want need you guys to laugh. Okay. I'm just smiling. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I want to hear it now. I literally poured my entire heart out to this girl and she stopped. Baby, what? The quiver. I didn't. I poured my heart out, told her I loved her and I said, I, I like, I'm ready to do this. Because I thought she was waiting on me. Am I, like, venting? This is, like, therapy. No, I like to hear this. And yeah. I thought she was waiting on me. Is and this high school? Yeah. It okay. ain't shorty. No, uh, no, I'm just curious. Shorty? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want to hear the rest of the story. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, and she said, okay. She did. She was like, okay. Just said, okay, back? Yes. And then I had to go, like, play the keys or something. Oh. It was, like, during service while my oh. dad's preaching. That's okay. No, Are, it's, it's does it still like hurt you to this day? No, but I'm just thinking about it. Like, You're putting yourself back there. Yeah, I'm putting myself back there. I was like, after the fact, I was so, stop laughing. I was so crushed. Yeah, I will say like in past relationships, people say it to me and I just say it back. Even like I'm not even being true to how I feel. You know what I mean? So it's like, I think the reason that I wanted to wait until I knew with Drew was because I saw so much potential in him. If that mm. makes sense. It was like, different. I didn't want to say something I didn't mean, even though I may have loved him then. I just wasn't 100% sure of it. Yeah. yeah. Does Drew know about your stalker? I think briefly. I don't think I've told him the whole spiel. <gasps> just because it's, it's kind of a long story. Dude, I feel but, like I forget some of the story. Yeah, I think he knows, like, the main parts of the story. You have, like, a legit stalker. Because you have yes. a restraining order. A stalking order. Okay, a stalking order. That's different? Yeah, so restraining order has to be, like, against, like, immediate family. Okay. So, like, someone you were, like, you're married to or, like, you were married to or something. Or, like, mom, dad. I don't know. And then that's only in place for a year, and then you have to renew it. Stalking order is, like, disconnected person, and that's a permanent order. Wow. So you have a stalker. Yes. Can you share? Yeah. You can. On the podcast, you can talk about the stalker. Yeah. And if, if he's watching this, homie. <laughs> no. What? Uh, no, no, yeah. Wait, isn't That's he in fine. jail? Honestly, I don't know. I used to get notifications on my phone, like, when he was released and when he was back in, just so I was, like, aware. And they, on the like, lookout. the police sent that to you? Yeah, it was, like, an app. I don't know what happened with that. Okay, we got to, let's, can we talk about it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Give us the short story, obviously, but, yes. like, how did this start? So, it started, I was pretty much in a relationship all through high school. But me and the person I was with took a break for, like, a couple months. Okay. And there was this other guy that went to a different school, and I was interested in him. We had mutual friends, so we kind of hung out for, like, do like you two, remember that? Yeah, dude, I remember. Okay. I totally remember. Like, he a was, month or He two. was really cool, and, like, Super I loved sweet. him. Yes. He was a great kid. But then, like, I was emotionally invested in this other guy, so that ended up breaking off. It was literally, like, two months, and I go back to the other guy. Sounds so horrible. No, no, no. I'm a horrible it, person. No. Were you always in a relationship in high school? <laughs> yes, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Me she too. she yeah. was like in a serious relationship. 
all, all through high school. I think school. it's an older sibling thing. It must be. Lovers, not we have a lot of similarities. Babe. Yeah, exactly. Lovers, not fighters. <laughs> what did you just do with that dap? <laughs> yeah, dude. Also, I think, you did, I think you did a pinky out. Wait, what was that? <laughs> that? Because I, it's my instinct because I don't want to hurt you. Why would you hurt me? I don't want to hurt you, dude. Look at my thing that I hurt him with. <laughs> we don't dap. Fat rock. <laughs> <laughs> do you see my hand? I did it like this on purpose to no. make you cringe. So tight. It's, I know. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> you were a lover, not a fighter, baby. Yes. So, and anyways, so end up going back to the other guy. This other dude ends up disappearing, the two month guy. And then I think like five years later, is that add up? Yeah. From what you remember? Yeah, that was probably. Five years later, the house that we grew up in knew. A, oh. Cheryl, cut that but it's okay. Or just bleep it. Yeah. Or yeah, you can just bleep it. She bleeped it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, that he knew about that he went to when we were seeing each other. The realtor calls our mom and is like, destiny has some sort of secret admirer. There's like a lot of packages at your old house. I just got a call from the new owners. So, and the weird thing is, is me and my mom were at lunch at the time. So she's like, that's so weird. I had to go do something after. So mom went and got all this stuff. She calls me. She's like, this is like filled my whole passenger seat, my whole back seat, and my whole trunk. What were the packages? Can you share the, or no? Yes. Okay. The most random stuff. Like it looked like he was being a porch pirate. Like it was like huge Carhartt pants. It would fit like someone way bigger than me for a man. He just wanted to just give you stuff. Yeah. Hot wheels, baby clothes. There was a diamond ring. Just a bunch of random stuff. A huge muffler was like the weirdest thing. I'm like, what? what like for a car. <laughs> yes. And at this point, I was, like, laughing because I was like, what is yeah. this, right? I didn't even know. Wait, how did you? didn't know who either? Yes, the card was signed. Oh. So okay, I was going to say, yeah. how did you know who it was from? Yeah, because with the ring was a card signed. So fast forward, fast forward. It's, things start escalating. He finds out where I work. He starts coming to my work, being aggressive, throwing stuff, saying that we're married, that we have kids together, like, completely out of his mind, right? And I didn't want to involve authorities because at one point I was like, I had care for this kid, you know, like I felt, I felt for him. Like, obviously something wasn't right. Is he the same age? One year older okay. than me. So like 30 now, but it got to a point where like, I was actually scared. So got like a victim's advocate involved, obviously a judge involved, filed the order. And this is the craziest part of the story right here. Here we go. So we're sitting in the courtroom, me, mom, and my victim's advocate, and then the judge is like, we're getting waiting, waiting for me to get called up. And he busts into the courtroom. And this is the hearing where I'm just filing for it, trying to get it approved. Like he hasn't even been served with it yet. So like he was stalking me to the point of he knew that I was even at the courthouse. Dude, I didn't know that. Yeah. So he's like following you everywhere. Literally following. Wild. Comes in, sits down, like there's an aisle. I'm in this seat. He sits directly across the aisle in this seat and starts like fanning all this money out, just doing weird stuff. I turn white as a sheet. They stop the hearing that's going on. The re recorder sitting at front looks at me and mouths, is that him? Oh, so the judge and no one in the room knew what he looked like? No, no. How? Wh how? So at that hearing, you just like explain the incidences oh. and then the judge is like, yes or no, this is enough to Was get the judge in the room. Right? Yes, there was another hearing before mine. I was waiting. So there nice. was a full hearing going on. And they stop it, and the judge goes, Mr., his last name, how, what are you doing here, pretty much? Yeah. And he said some gibberish, blah, blah, blah. And <laughs> he was like, the judge was like, okay, well, if you could just wait outside, we can just serve you with the papers when we're done here. Because, like, that right there was enough to see. I didn't even have to speak. Right. Wow. You know? So it was crazy. Yeah. Okay. Wait, didn't, wasn't there like some story of him? I remember you saying something like he was like explaining like your guys' house together, right? Dude, yes. Yeah, so and many weird texts and stuff. Yeah, like he, he was explaining, like he thought that they had a house together. And like he was explaining like the rooms in the house or something, right? Or yeah, it, like something and, with the baby too. Yeah, our baby, like, yes. And he was like, the babies are upstairs yes. or something really weird. And I yeah. was like, what is going on? Yeah, he on? was like, you need to get the baby. The baby's crying or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah. So wow. many weird things. I have so many questions. Um, yeah. So 
what well then like what, what about now let's fast forward to like now or like the past couple of years you probably you obviously know nothing you don't have any contact with this dude or whatever what has happened since then you said he's been in jail he's been out of jail like that's been a thing yeah so like dir- what well directly after it he because once you violate an order it's mandatory arrest mandatory arrest so he got arrested like four times for violating the order because he still couldn't stop doing still weird stalking. stuff and so those four times he went to jail for that. And then after that, I don't know what he was in and out for, but yeah. I haven't heard from him in like probably, no, I want to say like a year ago, I got a voicemail mm-hmm. from him and like, I've had calls from his family members and stuff, just like weird stuff. But I'd what say for the family a, members need, what are they? I got a call from the grandma, I think, or the mom. Mm-hmm. And they're like, he gave me this number to contact him at. So, like, he's telling his family that he was with me. This was, like, a year ago. Yeah. What the? Just so weird. Yeah. Okay, so years (laughs) later, how are you at peace talking about this? Honestly, I just kind of got to a point where I'm like, it is what it is. Like, And you do you feel like now you feel, like, you feel safe. Like, there was a point where you're actually scared, like you said. But now that, like, the order's in place and stuff. But even after it was in place, he was violating it. So were you still scared at that point, right? Yeah, I think I was mostly scared right after because at that point he knew where I worked. And where you lived. And I was still working there. So it's like I didn't know what he was going to do. And I was still in that vicinity, you know, where I lived. So it's like. Didn't they not have you? I feel like I remember a vague memory of them not having you work by yourself, right? Yeah. Like I didn't close anymore or anything. Yeah. So he was doing weird stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, Destiny. That's like, that's a real thing. For, like I obviously have you ever experienced? Have you ever had a stalker Mm-mm. or anything? Have you? No. Oh, you would know if I had. Oh, I don't know. If anybody's <laughs> stalking shorty, hey, they was on me in high school. I had to like say <laughs> shit. <laughs> but um, so weird. That's a legit real thing that probably other women actually go through and probably are going through right now. What is what would be like your advice for like women that uh, deal with this? Probably like to this day or whatever. Like for you, you acted immediately. Like you. Or not really? No, I, yeah, no, you didn't. but I also knew him. I mean, if it was a complete stranger, I probably would have acted immediately because it's like, that's super weird, right? But I would just say, like, if there's any weird behavior, like, act immediately because it got to a point where I was, like, scared before I had anything in place, you know? Like, don't ever let it get to that point. Yeah. Especially nowadays with, like, the sex trafficking and the, like, I don't even like Savannah and she always, like, uh, is always questioning me when if I make a suggestion, like we were at, we were in like a parking lot and you were changing sissy in the parking lot and I was going inside with Rye and it was like broad day. Oh yeah, I said I was about to change her. Yeah, and I said yeah, and you, you're gonna change her in the car, mm-hmm. and like was, stand outside of the car, stand outside the car, and I said no, 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 you're gonna wait till I get back or whatever. And I don't, and it's not me being scared or anything, but it's just the nature um, of. I don't want you doing something. I don't want, first, I don't want your back turned mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I know you can defend yourself, but it's also, no. it's you, you're with my daughter, you're with our daughter. And it's the nature of just the world right now is just yeah. not, it's not worth the risk. No. It's not worth the risk. Well, and I'm glad you said that because even in that moment when you told me, no, I was like so confused at first. Cause you do that. But then at the same time, I feel like, I don't know, I guess we're not really in that many situations to where I'm like by myself, I'm going to like change a diaper with my back turned I don't know in the middle of the parking lot but right. when you said that I was like wait what are like are we in a bad area because like we were in an area that we're not usually yeah. in so I was like what do you mean and yeah. then Josh was like no like I'm going inside and I don't want your back turned like you changing a diaper like For sure. and that's, yeah, no I love that though yeah, yeah that's really smart because I mean like you said like sex trafficking all the things like they literally I mean I see stuff like all over TikTok and like I try to stay informed but then also like not read into it too much because it really freaks it's me scary. out but just like you know they know they're watching and like they know what to do like that's why you like when you get Definitely. in your car you need to lock all the doors immediately like don't sit there on your phone with your doors unlocked like just stuff like that little things um yeah, yeah definitely. and people are weird everywhere like you can be in a bad area or a good area yeah, it right? doesn't matter it's like you hear about these things and you're like oh that's never gonna happen to me but like how naive is that mm-hmm. you know yeah no i i don't know what it i've I think it was just maybe just how I was raised. Like even when we're walking or um, like even today, mom was here at the, at the house and I was always uh, raised to make sure whoever's outside, first off, walk them outside, but make sure <laughs> that they drive 
No, or I love that. Or whatever. Um, <laughs> because, like, you just never know. Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> You're laughing because mom <laughs> <laughs> takes so long to leave. Oh, when she's he in was the car. standing there forever with I the door open. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> and did mom even know you were there? I don't know. She could have. <laughs> but it's so not. sweet. But it, it's, uh, but yeah, that's funny. But anyways, but that that's that should be the standard though with with everything. Like we gotta we gotta protect our women, and it's not saying that you guys can't defend yourself or mm-hmm. protect yourself or anything like that. But um, say something does happen, like we, I want y'all to be prepared, and I just want to be definitely be there. Um, but yeah, that's wild, Destiny. You're so strong for even like you're sharing that story, and I'm just like, I don't know what I would be doing if yeah. I had. And it was so weird because going through it, I didn't, I was definitely stressed for sure. Like I lived with one of my roommates at the time was a guy and I would not go anywhere without him at night. You know, where I got to the point, like in the morning, I would go out and look under my car. So I definitely was a little rattled Yeah, when it was going on. But like now I'm fine. Nothing. Yeah. And it shouldn't be like it that. It just and is I'm, what it is. Yeah, that's that. good that you're not like living in fear and you're, right. you're just like, you know. Yeah. I'm glad that you got a boyfriend too, especially boyfriend. Boyfriend be whipping these cars. Boyfriend can run over anybody, honestly. Run dog over. Hot, uh, <laughs> monster trucks that he makes. Um, makes. <laughs> makes. <laughs> Shout out to my homeboy, Drew. Uh, makes. Yeah, he makes them from scratch. He builds the cars. Yeah. <laughs> but um, doesn't he pretty much? Yeah, builds. Yeah, literally yeah, builds cars. Makes. Uh, cars. But, it's a car manufacturer. Um, I'm glad that you do have someone, um, you know, oh, in me life too. that can protect you and help you when it comes to things like that. But. Yeah. What was your first impression of me? I feel like I've answered this question so Definitely. I've never on the podcast. So that's I'm true. That's true. We can find the, if I can learn something new. Huh? I feel like I instantly liked you. You vibe with me for real? Did you think I, there was something off? Honestly, no. Really? I think I was because I was quiet. It's because I yeah, was trying you to were, figure y'all You were out. quiet. Yeah. I think he was a little quiet at first, but it's like but yeah, there was nothing was wrong quiet. with that. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like we're a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you're not a lot. But I mean, I will say the first time I did see Destiny, she <laughs> demanded for me to take my hat off. Yeah, she and literally. When I say demanded, she flipped my hat up and said, what's under Did the you hat? really? Yeah. I think so. No, you said, I let did. me see your head. Yeah. She yeah. said, let, let me see, see your head. hair. Hair. Yeah. Yeah, because she needed to see what you looked like. Like fully. Rightfully so. I guess I wore a hat inside the house. But now you know no, me. Oh, no. I didn't care about that part. <laughs> well, about I'm the saying, manners like, I'm part. I'm wearing a hat and like you just saw met me and you're like who is this kid yeah i need to see the hair or whatever but now you know i just wear hats all the time hat gang hey check yeah. her hat out for real for real though check her hat out i do love hats Swag. we got the hat connection um it's like what <laughs> that even i mean? can't remember on that trip the first time i met you did we like end up hanging out like this like where we like did we get close that's i think like, we got close pretty quick because i have a fond memory where were you at? What? But we were listening to Drake in the car one time. Yeah, you guys used to like. I would not be there sometimes. I think I think we're always <laughs> talking about the one situation. We're talking. Where about, we shot the video. Yes. I think yeah. Was only one one time you were on tour and you oh, were coming home and you like surprised me. Yeah, um, okay. Were, this all happened on one yeah. situation, but um, <laughs> we were just like vibing. It's the oldest was that, sibling that trip? thing. Yeah, I think it was that trip. But there are other times where we're just stop. We can just. Uh, vibe. Sorry. What are you doing, I, feet? I was looking at my feet. <laughs> In the camera? Yeah. I feel like we're also just like super laid back, easy going. Definitely. So you guys are similar. Easy. Really? I guess you would know. Yeah, you guys are similar in, in the go with the flow. Like both mm-hmm. of you guys are like, and I feel like I've learned, like, I feel like I've learned that from you already. But then like, since being with you, I feel like you've taught me just to like, not sweat the small stuff basically and you guys are both that way Mm -hmm. so i think that's why you guys vibe yeah maybe that is it yeah but yeah i feel like it was like i don't remember there ever being like a time period where it's like i don't know how to talk to josh right you know yeah Yeah. i don't ever ever want that it was just pretty natural what do you think our first like big fight is gonna be me and you yeah there you guys are gonna have have a big fight i feel like we have to I feel like it would have already happened by now if it was going to happen, though. Don't Ooh, you? What? Like, you guys are going to start, like, that's hitting true. each other? No. Hitting each other? <laughs> Dude. Oh, no. That's what we used to do. Sorry. <laughs> Me and you, Des. <laughs> Regardless? <laughs> Me and Des used to literally beat each other up. Yeah, I know. Did you, you and Rem? with the broom. Yeah. yeah I okay. was swapping. When you... Me and Rem was swapping each other. Really? Like, punching <laughs> each other? Definitely. Oh, my gosh. See, like, I feel like when girls say, like, they, they fought, it doesn't seem as, like, 
like then when two like guys are fighting that's scary yeah, I'm more aggressive backtrack to you thinking we and Des are going to be fist fighting well, i'm just gonna <laughs> backtrack to the fact that you think you're gonna get into a raging fight with her i don't know what if we, we could have a disagreement i guess you could like i think we'd both handle it very well though you yeah. think yeah, i don't I think, think we'd be yelling over it i don't know you know i'm super excited about it no, no. <laughs> not me not me <laughs> <laughs> no i don't know what it was you know me and mom got into a heated debate one time no really destiny wasn't at the house i guess not i don't know it was like a big we were savannah and i were dating it was very like very beginning or whatever can i know what it was about yeah i think we talked about it on the podcast <laughs> it was um it was basically when we were starting out on social media yeah you remember i think i think i remember hearing about it on the podcast and yes. she was like what is this yeah she she yes. thought that like josh was taking me away from like dance basically mm -hmm. and like taking away taking me away from my career because oh, she didn't wow. understand and then it's kind of crazy now look at us now and she obviously doesn't feel like that anymore oh, no, and even, yeah of course even not. after like what when we like maybe like six months of doing social media i feel like she yeah no she had every right to feel how she felt or whatever for me i'm a dreamer i'm like i see vision you're and like stuff, i can so do this yeah in my head i'm just like anybody telling me that i can't do something like it really just bothered me and i didn't know you guys as right. like super strong either but um I think my frustration came out and like she saw that she saw how passionate I was and that was that. But yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And I've. That sounds like a healthy fight though. Yeah. Not it even a fight. Right. At the time it didn't seem healthy. It seemed like because you had to make a decision. You felt like you had to make a decision. You were like my boyfriend and my mom. I feel like I have to choose. Remember? No. I do. Really? Yeah. You were like my boyfriend hates my mom. And I <laughs> was. <laughs> <you are. laughs> First of all, <laughs> first of all, first of all, really, I don't remember it. I don't, I, do. I guess I don't remember. It. Well, it was probably more vivid for you because like you were the one like, yeah, but yeah, that's crazy. I mean, also I was thinking that that kind of is just like a testament to like how close you were immediately to my family and like vice versa. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you're even not like comfortable enough to like get in a fight, but you know what I'm saying? Like that's like your fam, like that's what you only do with yeah. like a family member. Yeah. Well, and also even thinking about mom, like mom's not like that. Yeah. Like no. mom doesn't really do confrontation unless she absolutely has to. Has yeah. To, yeah. And that's not really like a. Well, actually, I think mom situation. told me, I think I caused it because mom told me of something course. and then I said, well, I'm going to tell Josh. Oh my like, gosh. Like mom that told me her too. thoughts and then I told you. That's wow. how that's how it started. <laughs> wow, that's like some Mary, little sibling, some Mary stuff right there. I know, no, yeah, little sibling, <laughs> little sibling. Well, I'm going to tell Josh. Yeah, and mom was like, "No, like, yeah, I actually feel so bad now thinking about it." Did but I know that? I don't know. Wow, you just told me. Yeah. Wow, you just told me. What's on your shirt? Uh, little thread, little thread. That's really it. Well, anyways. What are you, are you about to like shift the podcast? Because <laughs> the way you did that, usually, you know, I'm like driving. What do oh, you, you are. To say? Do you guys want to hear my fun fact I was going to share? You guys might already know it. I'm yes. loving. I'm in the I'm a passenger <laughs> prince. <laughs> passenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I want to know. Okay, I you, I really hope you guys don't know it. Okay. About to find out. Did you know that Miley Cyrus's name used to be something different? No. What does it start the with? The first name. What does it start with? The letter. Because I thought nope. I do know. I can't but, tell you. Nope. <laughs> no. No. It used I to be do. Destiny. Yes. No way. Yes. How do you know this? Destiny Cyrus. I just saw a TikTok. Wait, actually, that sounds like, now that I said that out loud, that sounds familiar. Destiny Cyrus. And it's so weird because anytime anyone hears my voice that doesn't know me, like on a recording <gasps> or a video, you they say like I sound like Miley Cyrus. Are you Hannah Montana? Maybe. <gasps> do I look mm. like her? Sing. Oh, <laughs> Destiny, you can no. sing. No, I cannot. <laughs> I think all three of you guys can sing. All three? Mom yeah, or Rai? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, Mom, there's only two of us. <laughs> Rai. Rai can Wait, definitely Jesse, sing. I've heard you sing in the car. You can sing. I'm embarrassed now. I know. I'm, I'm embarrassed now. I <laughs> think about it every time. But like, you're not like fully belting out. But like, It doesn't like, like hurt your ears. You're holding a note and it sounds, it sounds good. You can sing. It's actually weird because I used to be good friends with these two girls and they were both singers like in, in a choir. And they would always tell me, Destiny, you actually have a good voice. And I just thought they were tooting my horn. Yeah. They're like good friends. Yeah. I'm like, I don't think I can sing though. Yeah. you guys I'd have sing. to go get some training. What? I want to hear. <laughs> I'm not hear. right now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Destiny's going to sing. Are you kidding I'm me? I'm picturing Destiny singing a song right now like, <laughs> on the podcast. It would be the most uncomfortable thing for everyone to watch. <laughs> <Acapella>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Destiny, just do something. 
No. Like, sing like, no. you get the limo around. No. I, I absolutely cannot. I just am here for it. Wow. Yeah, I'll do it off this okay. for you guys. I'll keep, I'll keep and then if it's running. good, maybe I'll come again sometime and do it for them. Really? And then if it's We do want to have you on that on the podcast again. I have two ideas. I want you two to do an episode, and then I want you to come back on with Remington and have a <gasps> siblings episode. That would be cool. Yeah, that both sounds fun. And then fun. eventually the boyfriend on. You're just going to be on the podcast. You're going to be like, the thing is, you're not going to be a guest. You're just going to be. You might a, be you're a reoccurring member. Yeah. What you say? Reoccurring member. Re-occurring yeah, I like member. that. Yeah, yeah like I'll a reoccurring like, uh, subscription. You're a part of. <laughs> a subscription. <laughs> I have to pay. Would you like that? Would you rock with that? Yeah. Would you like that? Would be fun. Wouldn't it be cool for you two just to do an episode? Yeah. Dude, we could have our own podcast one day. Dude. I start crying. (laughs) (laughs) No. You would love if I ever like branched out. I would love if you. Yes. I know you. I want you to. Yeah. Really? You guys have a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. But another (laughs) podcast ain't nothing to it but to do it. Really? Okay. That would be cool. It is in the works. You two. It's not in the works. I'm talking about you guys have a for us episode. An episode. Okay. Remington and Destiny. And then we'll go from there. Okay. When is Rem going to come visit? Oh, yeah. Actually, next week. Well, you don't know. Oh, yeah. We've heard you. I thought you mentioned it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. He'll be here next week. Cool. So we're shooting that Cool. (laughs) (laughs) Wait. I need you to tell Josh uh, the moped story. Okay. Moped story. Is this good? Is this worth it? It, I feel like it's kind of a had you be there, you had to be there thing. Really? I liked the story. I feel like you're a good storyteller. Okay. Let's end the podcast with the moped. Coming to you live from (laughs) the living room. I'm joking. Stop. (laughs) Okay. So... Me and my girlfriend went to San Diego. This was probably like two years ago now. Wait, not this one. Oh, there's more mopeds? <laughs> what? <laughs> dude, what Stop moped? Me, bro. <laughs> that is the one, dude. Ouch. Stop <laughs> kicking me. I don't have multiple moped stories. It sounds like you do. Okay. Savannah, stop, stop it. Okay, that last one was personal. Stop <laughs> kicking me. <laughs> Should we take an intermission? No, no intermission. No, Destiny, it. the story from Trader Joe's. Oh, my God. You oh. a moped in Trader Joe's? <laughs> Not me. Somebody was Dude, actually riding was a, a moped? Vespa. Is that a moped? <laughs> I don't know. The what difference. in the world? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm hot. Yeah, me too. For starters. <laughs> my feet are sweating. The fact that I have two moped stories that I forgot about yeah which one do you want her to tell i want her to tell Jerry 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 see this okay. one's good because i yeah because i'm such a dork okay so <laughs> what in the world so okay so i'm pulling up to trader joe's to go in and get a few things i get out of my car and i'm walking up and i see this guy walking out of the store with a full basket of groceries <laughs> i'm like okay whatever like he has a trader joe's basket you know the actual the basket, basket. Oh, like, like that- leaving the store with the basket okay and you're supposed to no shop bags no bags, just the basket. Okay. And he's like kind of hustling, but like not that much. And he goes like to get on this Vespa. It's like the first parking lot in front of the store. And I see a worker coming out after. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I'm like trying to figure out what's going on. So, but I could tell the worker was trying to get the guy with the basket's attention. Okay. So I'm like, hey, to the basket moped guy. I was like, hey, he needs you. And I stop right in front of his Vespa. Listen, you're trying to be a superhero and you're about to get ran over? I didn't know what was going on at the time. But why are you? You have to be a part of this. Hey, he needs you. I was like, hey, dude, he's trying to get you. Uh-huh. All of a sudden, I think he stole the moped too because he guns it and almost hits me. I have to like jump to the side. He and it's like all rickety through the parking lot. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then... <laughs> Uh-huh. And then the Trader Joe's worker is like, you know, saying some words. What in the- yeah, are you shedding? <laughs> what it's is okay. that? It's the blanket. Okay. Oh, the pillow, the pillow. pillow. They're saying some words and stuff. And I was like, then I put it together. I'm like, oh, he was stealing all that stuff. <laughs> so you didn't realize until he had literally driven away that he was stealing. Until the guy was all mad. Right. And he literally said, hope you enjoy that stuff you stole. Bad word. Bad, Bad word. word. <laughs> I am blown away at you standing in Her front of Her standing in front of it. In front of a Vespa. <laughs> right in front of it. Trying to be <laughs> Hey, he needs woman. you. No, she didn't even know she was being superwoman. It's right. a thing. She was just like, hey, he needs you. <laughs> yeah, I thought he like left his card. Like, I didn't know what was going on. I'm crying. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I'm like not crying. Yeah. Yeah, I always say I'm screaming and I'm literally not screaming. Or LOL and you're just literally just... 
<laughs> yeah, just staring at your phone. <laughs> LOL. Deadpan face. <laughs> It's All right. So well, weird. that was fun. That was a good. That was that was great, Destiny. I, th- I I hope the world got to know you a little bit better. Yeah. If yeah, you have too. more questions for Destiny, hit um her D. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We're gonna have her on more, and we can talk about way more. But thank you, Destiny, for coming on the episode. Thanks on the for podcast. having me. We love you so much. What do you want to say? Love you guys. <laughs> love you. Okay. Love tell you. them. Tell them. Love you. Tell them about you guys. Think. What, the oh tongue? yeah, I forgot about our tongue. We really? still do it. Okay. Only sometimes. Contest yeah, only sometimes. Quickly, tongue. Oh, sorry. Whenever we hang out, we always have to go. Yeah. Before we hang out. Quick tongue stick out. But sometimes. Okay, I love you. Bye. Yeah, sometimes we don't do it. And I think, honestly, <laughs> since having Rye and Starly, because sometimes, like, in a frazzle, I'm not even, like, my face isn't even on the phone. Dude, most of the time I just have to hang up on Rye. Yeah, because oh, yeah, Rye steals. Takes the phone. Yeah. But, anyways, yeah, I love Josh, you. Josh, do the tongue thing. Yeah, do no, it. I'm not doing yeah, do it. Do it. Say, love you. Bye. Yeah, love you. Bye. Do it. Love you. Bye. That's so good. Please do it. No, don't make him. No, please do it. Now I now you know how I feel about singing. That's different. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> love you, bye. <laughs> no. Are you serious? That's not right. Say it with more oomph. Love you, bye. No. Oh, <laughs> love you, bye. I'm not Perfect. doing it, bro. <laughs> love you, bye. <laughs> All right, y'all. We love y'all, and we will see y'all in the next episode. <laughs> That's not what you say. What do I say to you? You say we'll see you next week. Okay, we'll see y'all next week. <laughs> bye.